they're off for the Grade 1 Albert Bartlett over three miles. Big occasion was the first to break the line. Brim Breezy Breeze is also prominent with Meister Eckhart towards the inside. Fox Appeal, as is won't, is held up, anchored right at the back of the field as they go towards the first flight. And Big occasion will lead. Brindisi Breeze on the inside jumps it in second, all safely over. The boss's cousin just a little ponderous at the back of the field as they go on towards flight number two. As they do so, the leader is Big Occasion. Brindisi Breeze will jump it in second. Meister Eckhart was just a little skew whiff in the air jumping it in third. The Grey Dawn Commander is in fourth. Grand Vision, another Grey Racing in fifth. Mount Ben Bolben is one of them who's taking a very strong hold in the early stages. They crossed over flight number three at which they were all safe and still at the back of the field is the boss's cousin with Fox Appeal last but one. Love Sen has just been niggled along towards the inside rail in the very early stages by Robert Thornton as they take the dog leg turn and Big Occasion and Tom Scudamore out in front. Brindisi Breeze to the inside racing in second. Dawn Commander the Grey just in third. Meister Eckhart on the inside racing in fourth. Phil the Power is now in fifth. Grand Vision is in sixth. They crossed over that flight. And these were then being followed by Ben Eyre. Ben Eyre is racing at the moment at a long side Sea of Thunder. Sea of Thunder is followed then by Boston Bob, who's got a very nice position, just racing around about midfield as they begin to make the downhill run for the first time. He's at the moment just racing alongside Love Sen and also Rocky Creek. One making a bit of ground around the outside now is hard to swallow as they race towards the final mile and a half. American spin is very wide out on the track. He's racing alongside Ipsos de BLA as they make the run down the hill. The Druid's nephew at the moment is in the last three together with Tour des Champs towards the outside. The boss's cousin and still the anchor is firmly down on Fox Appeal from Noel Feely at the back of the field as they race on now to the wings of flight number five. And it was Big Occasion who had the lead over that flight of hurdles to Brindisi Breeze who jumped it in second and Dawn Commander was over in third. The red, white and blue colours on the inside of Meister Eckhart racing in fourth. Hard to Swallow is out deep on the course, racing in fifth, followed by Phil the Power, who's in sixth. On that one's inside is Grand Vision, followed then by Ben Eyre, and after Ben Eyre, the maroon and white of Sea of Thunder. Next on the outside is American Spin, who's followed by Ipsos de Berle. Next in the field, Sivler de Sivler has already been ridden along. Mount Ben Baldwin, who's raced freely in the early stages. Love Sen is next. Another one niggled now is Rocky Creek, and he's racing alongside Boston Bar, but at the moment has only got five behind as they come towards the halfway point of the Albert Bartlett of 2012 and Big Occasion has still just got the lead and he was big and bold over that flight of hurdles and Boston Bob was niggled away from that flight of hurdles. He wasn't that flick, uh, that's a uh, real uh, uh, fluent over that flight, would just flick the top bar. So it's Big Occasion on the outside of Brindisi Breeze racing in second. Meister Eckhart is now in third. Dawn Commander to the outside in fourth and then there's a break of two lengths to Grand Vision who's racing in fifth, in fifth place. Ridden along is Phil the Power, then hard to swallow. He's making ground around the outside, followed by Sea of Thunder as they now race slightly down a hill. Ben Eyre is next to the field, followed by Love Sen, who's towards the inside. And then Rocky Creek trying to make a little bit of ground with American Spin. Going over the first one down the back, and the leader was still Big Occasion, still out the back of the field. Tour de Chan together with the boss's cousin. And once again, Boston Bob was just niggled away from that flight of hurdles and angling just a little wider now as they go towards the next flight. Big Occasion uh, fluffed his lines there. He blundered. So too Dawn Commander. Brindisi Breeze jumped it well. American Spin, another one who got very low and lost ground at that flight of hurdles as they go towards the next. Brindisi Breeze more fluent than Big Occasion in second. On the inside, AP McCoy and Meister Eckhart still going well in the red and white hoops. Dawn Commander is fourth around the dog leg turn, followed by Hard to Swallow towards the outside of Sea of Thunder. Spot the maroon and white. Grand Vision on the inside. Mount Ben Bolvin is next in the field, followed next by Ben Eyre. Fox Appeal in the white colours is now beginning to make stealthy headway. On that one's outside as they race towards the next flight of hurdles now is Rocky Creek. Getting over that flight of hurdles. Sivilla de Sivilla tries to make ground. Boston Bob is now flat the boards to try and improve. And he's weaving his way through the field as they now race towards the final two flights of hurdles. Making the run down the hill. Brindisi Breeze and Campbell Gillies switching now into the two path. AP McCoy and Meister Eckhart. Then the ground inside. Grand Vision is now racing in third. Big Occasion is in fourth. Mount Ben Bolvin is in fifth. Sea of Thunder is on the outside. Niggle along for the first time racing in sixth place. Then Love Send. Then Boston Bob who now now begins to try and improve. Then the Druid's nephew towards the outside of Ben Eyre. Hard to swallow his losing ground. Fox Appeal hasn't got them. Neither two as Dawn Commander. From the back of the pack is Tour Deschamps, who's making ground towards the
the outside. Here comes the second from home in the Albert Bartlett. Brindisi Breeze had the lead over Meister Eckhart, who jumped in second. Grand Vision was over in third. Boston Bob is in fourth. He's clinging on to his chance as they begin to make the turn. Two and a half furlongs to go. Brindisi Breeze and Campbell Gillies have gone for home, but Boston Bob is trying to stay on in behind. On the outside, that is Meister Eckhart towards the inside. Grand Vision loves Sen, followed by Mount Ben Bolvin and then the Druid's nephew as they race down with a full and a half to go and out in front it is still Brim Deasy Breeze but here's Boston Bob who now is beginning to be lifted home by Ruby Walsh he's got to within a length and a half now it's a length they've got a furlong to go Brim Deasy Breeze is having to dig very deep at the last he jumps it well better than Boston Bob in second Grand Vision is in third Brim Deasy Breeze drifts to the near side rail he's still out in front he leads by a length Boston Bob with one last lunge it is not enough Brindisi Breeze wins for Scotland in second Boston Bob in third was Grand Vision in fourth Love Sen in fifth Meister Eckhart in sixth of Drew's nephew and in seventh Mount Ben Bourbon oh what a race Brindisi Breeze holds on and gives Lucinda Russell and Campbell Gillis their biggest days as trainer and jockey respectively this horse has sprinted for three miles and takes the Albert Bartlett from Boston Bob, who for all Ruby Walsh and Ireland's urgings could not quite dig himself out of the hole that he dug halfway round with lots of good horses in front of him. Grand Vision has run a stormer in third for the Tizards, another good run.